live from Utah's CW30. ABC4 News at 7.30 starts now. Oh, welcome back. Our drought here in Utah has seen the Great Salt Lake recede to unprecedented lows, but we're not the only part of the country that's been short on rain. The Mississippi River is also historically dry right now as the drought stretches along the entire length. The low water levels are revealing relics of America's past and farmers, they're worried. ABC's Ginger Z, Z has the story. The mighty Mississippi River. I'm along the Mississippi River bank because it's at a historic low. Is the measly Mississippi. Where I'm standing normally is underwater. Within the last month, at least five river gauges bottoming out to the lowest level since records began as early as the 1890s. A century old shipwreck near Baton Rouge exposed. Look what I just found. It's a Civil War belt buckle. That's insane. Fossils and relics littering the now dry riverbed. Drought along the entire length of the Mississippi with parched riverbed from Wisconsin to Tennessee. Thousands of people flocking to Tower Rock in Missouri by foot. The historic low levels on the Mississippi River coming at the absolute worst time for farmers. The heart of harvest. See that huge pile of soybeans behind me? It was supposed to make it down river three weeks ago. The Mississippi is the main route for America's breadbasket to the world, responsible for 400 billion in industry and 1.3 million jobs. This is the backbone of America. We move all of our products up and down this river. It's the product that feeds the world, builds the world, and powers the world. Jonathan Dunn works for one of the nation's largest barge operators. Normally we would be running about 46 to 40 barges on our large horsepower boats, and now we're running 25 barges on those, on those boats. So, so there is a drastic reduction. When the price to ship goes up, the value of the goods go down. The prices drop pretty drastically due to increased freight on the river. So that's got to show up in prices somewhere for yes, it, us? Uh, I think eventually it will. It's, uh, you know, it's going to trickle down to everyone. Now, there's a reason that America still uses barges to transport everything from the soybeans that you see being put in the barge behind me to corn, oil, fertilizer, you name it. We do it because this is cheaper. One barge can hold the same amount as 16 train cars and 70 semi trucks. And on one gallon of gas, the barge can move five times farther than a truck. How much do we need? We need months uh, of uh, normal rainfall to recharge the soil and the river systems. 